So I have a 256 gig solid state uh, hard drive in my MacBook Pro Retina and I finally got to the point where I was running out of space or battling, uh, battling space and I wanted a way to add a hard drive without having to lug around an external hard drive. And this is the solution that I came up with because I wasn't willing to spend the money to get a, um, a memory card that would sit flush here because they're they're really pricey for for what you get and you're only going to be able to add another 256 or so and that that isn't really that isn't really gonna gonna do it for me when those are two hundred dollars so the solution that i came up with costs about 90 bucks what i did was i took some uh velcro that i got on amazon and i just velcroed a uh, slimline seagate drive as you can see it's it's pretty thin onto the back of the of the MacBook lid here and you can see here I left some velcro where I did it the first time I did it a little bit high and I wasn't really thinking about the pressure that that would put on the uh, on the hinge uh, and even though it was still usable um, sometimes if you would just carry it when it was open or move around while it was open it would kind of just just inch down a little bit so it was a little bit a little bit more strain than I wanted so I moved it down here and I haven't had any issue um, it's a USB 3.0 drive, and it's just connected to the USB port. I did get a uh, an angled USB here, hoping that I could run this cable uh, flush and kind of take up less space, but that didn't end up being any better because then I just have it sticking out the back, and I thought about getting another one going that way. And it, just, it started to get a little bit... A little bit crazy so I just I leave it like this it doesn't really bother me it's about the same thing as if you would have a flash drive sticking in the side um, but it stays on there all the time it's velcroed on so you could remove it easily if you wanted to um, but it's a it's a cheap and easy way to add uh, a couple terabytes I think they even sell these in the in the three maybe even up to four terabyte for the uh, the slim the slim drives that are powered by USB and that's what you would want um, as well. So if um, you know if you have any any ideas or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.